Yeah. It's your boy, I am Jarrell. We're live with Pop Up TV. It's a movie every time, man. We're right now at High Volume Music Live for a Prince event. And uh, I'm standing next to my boy MC Lero, DJ Tape Deck. Y'all know him by many names. He's an artist, he's a poet, he's everything, man. What you got going on, brother? Uh, well, today, today I'm on some young Basquiat type thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. So what I'm doing, I have, um, my father was an artist. You know what I mean? That's why I do so many things, because he does so many things. So the, the art that I'm displaying, my expression today, is my painting, my visual uh, art. Uh, orig all original art, um, original pieces. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm here and I'm also performing today as well. So, you know, I'm just here sharing my art with the uh, with everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Having a good time. Join the vibe. Man, how long you been doing this? Um, painting. I, sh I dibble dabbled when I was a kid with the drawing and everything because I was in the comic books. Um, and then I was doing some of the things that my father was doing. So I would take his brushes and then he would be like, he would be going crazy because he knew I, I, I touched his stuff, right? So, uh, but then I took it serious after he passed. And these are the paintings that came after after he passed. I just, I guess it was just, he gave me a lot of energy, you know, once he passed. So it was just, you know, this this is what, this is what we got. Man, I, I, I can respect that, man, like 100%. How long ago did your father pass? Um, he passed just a, just a few months ago, a few months ago. You know, y'all see how how powerful a father can be in your life, man. Yeah. You, people don't realize how powerful a father he, can be. He, he taught he, he taught me a, he taught me a, a lot while he was here, and even when he was gone, he still gave me things as he as, even in his passing. So it's just like you know, I'm just so grateful. I'm grateful. Hey, that right there speaks to me, man. Cause when my father passed, it's a lot of stuff that he did that I didn't understand then. Right. But once he was gone, I had time to ponder on right. it. And you get to go through some of this stuff that you didn't even know about. Yeah. Go through the file. Yeah, it's just amazing. So yeah. But that that's that's how art is inspired. It's inspired through pain. It's inspired through love. And and we love to see that type of art being expressed. Cause that's when it's real. That's when you know it's real. That's when you can feel it. Yeah, you know right, what I mean? Right. And life is art, and, and and art is about contrast. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it doesn't always have to have rules, and, and you know it goes as it goes. Life goes as it goes. So yeah. you know you gotta take you gotta take the you know the left with the right, the positive with the negative. That almost sounded like Vampire in Brooklyn, but he was like, it's evil is good. Yes. That's what I Without said. good, there couldn't be no evil. Be evil. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, but yeah, I, I like these these pieces you got, man. I'm definitely got to get me a piece for my house. Yeah, man. Cause, uh, um, yeah, um, I, some of them don't even have titles. Um, I often draw uh, faces, uh, which this piece, this piece here, um, is sort of like uh, I don't know if I have another piece down here, but no, I sold it. I did a Connecticut collection, and I, I just get used to the uh, something is drawing me to do these faces. So you know what I mean. And um, so I, I'm doing them in a series. Cause I, 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 at one point I thought like, you know, maybe I shouldn't repeat it, but it's like, um, I learned like, don't, don't, don't uh, hinder yourself. If you, if you want to keep doing something, doing it, you never know what was what's coming, what was manifest. Ma ma you never know how you, you are going to actually perfect your own talent. Like, you right. might hone your skill if you continue going as long as yeah. you get inspired for it. I can feel you on that for sure. Yeah, and then this huge this huge one here, uh, this, this one's called African American. And um, this one was this one was painful. Um, it started. It, it started out because I did this one in layers. I did, did this one. It took about two days, and um, I was playing uh, J Cole's uh, "For Your Eyes Only." Yeah. And um, as I was finishing the piece, because the, the music was so powerful, and uh, I was just trying to figure out what was missing, what accent was missing, and it was just the identifying of his uh, melanin. And once I put that on there with the black paint, that's when it, uh, I actually started crying. And then, and you could, cause you could really see the pain. If you see the smearing at the bottom, uh, that's that's that pain. And then I thicken the blood in the eyes because I want you to, to feel the history Behind. just in the eyes. Yeah. I want you, if you, just, you know what I mean? Yeah. I want you to feel, I'm a poet, so I want you to feel. Well, that's 100, man. Uh, how much would a piece like this one go? Uh, this one, I think, we have here uh, 35. 
You can get that piece right there for 35. That's a nice piece right there. For sure, for sure. Yeah. But yeah, man, we wanted to give you a spotlight here on Pop Up TV, man. He got a vlog coming, so he's gonna be doing a lot of big things. But uh yeah, go ahead and showcase that. Yeah, well, let me tell you guys about Poets Realm real quick. Um, Poets Realm, listen, it's a haven for all artists. It's an open mic. It's free to spit, $5 to sit and enjoy the show. We do it every Saturday at the Library Coffee and Wine House, 2612 Scott Street, hosted by Duchess Pendragon. She's an awesome upcoming poet. We work together. We got her, got her her own show. She's hosting. I'm DJing. We go from the patio to the inside, and we got food. We got everything. It's a good vibe. Good vibe. And what y'all don't know is me and MC Lero got something coming up on the uh, the second and fourth of every month. The at, tenth. Uh, the tenth. The tenth. Start on the tenth. The second and fourth Friday of every month. Yes, sir. So we're gonna start on the tenth of this month, November, and it's gonna be called. R&P, Rhythm and Poetry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's no, yeah, Rhythm and Poetry, yes, right? Sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Rhythm so I'm going to be doing the singing. You know He's going to yeah, do the poetry. You got the rhythm. Yeah. You got the rhythm. I just got the poetry. I, 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 ooh. <laughs> See, I can't. That's why yeah. you got to do the rhythm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hit it up. Y'all be there. Or B Square, it's gonna be at Big K, so y'all stay prepared for that, man. Yeah. It's going down. I might do some Martin stuff. Man, well, you seen it here first on Pop Up TV. It's a movie every time. You know, uh, Pop Up got the vlog, so right now we at High Volume Music Live. B Hill or B Square, you know, just how it is. How at your boy. Oh I am Jarrell. B Square. <laughs> cry, I said we shout, we scream, we sing, we dance, we speak, we teach, we read, we run, we fight, we laugh, we cry, these songs, these battles, these books and speeches are just our morning tears of Africa, sentenced 146,000 days to be enslaved in trade, marked as a buck to the system, we trade bucks for souls entrusted within the system, we cry for bread, play for death, hope for wealth and pray for less. How is it that we remember what we've been taught to forget, calling for promise while being sought for sex by the barbarian left? Oh, mama, we still cry for you in Jesus. Oh, mama, we still cry for you in Muhammad. Oh, mama, we still cry for you in Hebrew, English, Spanish, speaking slain the spirits, asking about your fallen sons and fatal disappearance. Your body is a dream. A theory of mythology and vision when my palm presses the globe in the back of the classroom. My fury bleeds tears down my cheeks. We forget to remember you and remember to forget you. But somehow we shout, we scream, we sing, we dance, we speak, we teach, we read, we run, we fight, we laugh, we cry. While being cut down like trees, struck down like lightning, shot down like planes as they extract the DNA from our veins. Detached the guard from our reins, pride from our names, food from our planes, the bullets we shot only graze, the arrows we aim were traded for blankets, the blunts we blaze won't take the pain away, the stones we threw were used to build prisons until our tears formed terrible oceans rising above sea walls and flooding the earth over until the moon floats and the sun's flames are extinguished. You, you quench your bloodthirst and pestilence while our prophets suffer. While our prophets suffer at the mercy of the prosperity of peasants, you are the world's nightmare, past and present, but somehow we shout, we scream, we sing, we dance, we speak, we teach, we read, we run, we fight, we laugh, we cry, just to feel alive. Behind the hustle of crack and dope, prostitution pimping, placing our women in positions of hoes for the requisite deposits of dominance and call it democratic while the District of Columbia relocates the attic, repopulates the ignorance and Adam, propagates doubt about his fashion, miseducates his mate to dislocate the bones that protect his faith while we go cry upon the stake, burning for freedom's sake, and they say, we niggas is always late. <laughs> But we've been here before you since the beginning of days. So we cry because you lie. So we run because you lie. So we fight because you lie. So we scream because you lie. So we cry 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 because you lie. So we... A lot of our history is based on a narrative that has been designed by someone other than us. So, most of our history is based on false perceptions, misconception, misperception. 
What you see is what you believe. Perception. What you see is what you believe. Perception. See, my mother would tell you that I'm stubborn. My father would tell you that I'm mentally disturbed. My poets would tell you that I spit with substance and my wife would tell you that I'm passionate. My Friends would tell you that I'm selfish and my brothers would tell you that I'm giving. My sisters would tell you that I'm a leader, but my son would tell you that he misses me while I'm absent. My daughters would tell you that I'm overprotective and my God would tell you that I lack knowledge. My boss would tell you that I'm lazy and my teacher would tell you that I'm not attentive. My exes would tell you that I'm aggressive, but my poems would tell you exactly what my heart speaks after the soul speaks. The message that my spirit sent, because see... Beyond your opinions or momentary experience, through my eyes are the revelations to the fullness of my existence. These glimpses you've seen cannot clearly interpret the meaning of the vision, nor the purpose of the wordage that hurdles my teeth to relay the truth that's beneath, because what is seen is not the same as what's perceived. I said what is seen is not the same as what's perceived, so be careful and let not your eyes determine your belief, because I am what I say I am. So as long as sound articulates the formulated image to decorate the page, portraits portray exactly what was created by exactly what was spoken in my case. Though I cannot say the same for most portrayals because see, they perceive Mona Lisa to be a beauty. I'm sorry, but she looking like a man. Talk, talk, talk. I asked, have you seen Cleopatra, Deborah, Sheba, Makita? They said, have you? I said, yes, I have. I've seen her every day. She walks to U of H in a TSU with a black and pink backpack, some skinny jeans and sandals. I know her dress code has changed, but damn it, I know her when I see your face. And all the while, all you can see is her age and the hue of her race. But I see her mind that you have erased. But her soul you have not con yet conquered. Because see, her words that tell you exactly what her heart will tell you after her soul speaks the message that God sent. Because see, her mother will tell you she has a smart mouth. Her father will tell you that she's worthless. Her friends will tell you that she's funny. And her boyfriend will tell you that she's a freak. Her pastor will tell you that she's blessed. And her God will tell you that she's unique. But I will tell you that she's an antique. But careful must we. And let not our eyes determine our belief. Because her words will tell you exactly what her heart will tell you. After her soul speaks the message that her spirit said. Because see, your two eyes ain't enough to visualize her. Semitic, symmetric pixels with a pathetic perception. Right. Grounded by gravity. Because she is metaphysical. See, I met her in Stroder Meadows. Meaning we met up and got physical. Meaning we spoke lines until we touched minds. Until the day's great light was no longer visible. Till darkness consumed us like all existence before the atom was made physical and the legacy of us became spiritual written through the eyes of criminals only if they knew that between my thighs was life love and the beginning of you and in her was the evolution and the continuance of you but together we are what they perceive to be God and the creator of you I know you have seen us because we have always seen you mm. perception mm. what you see is what you believe perception what you see is how you deceive. Perception.